This week in science, we're on the BC coast talking about neutrinos. Now, trust me, this can be a difficult concept to get your head around at first, but it's also the vanguard of an entirely new branch of astronomy, and the future of that branch could soon be right over there. Neutrinos are often called ghost particles. They're invisible, they're incredibly tiny, and trillions upon trillions of them are passing harmlessly through you, through walls, through planets, every second of every day. And despite that constant bombardment, we haven't found a way to directly observe them yet. But every so often, if a very high-energy neutrino flies in and smashes into the nucleus of an atom, it will produce a very tiny burst of blue light, and that we can detect. The biggest, baddest detector we have right now is near the South Pole. It's a one cubic kilometer series of sensors buried deep beneath the ice. Hence its name, Ice Cube. And the hundreds of physicists working with Ice Cube have just managed to do something extraordinary. Use the detector like a telescope without any outside help. This is the thing they spotted. It's called the Squid Galaxy. We definitely knew it was there already. You can even see it yourself with the right set of binoculars, but this observation was made just by detecting neutrinos. So Ice Cube has now proven there's a whole other way to view the cosmos. We might discover completely new phenomena in the universe, which we couldn't see because we couldn't see them in photons. And we can learn from them why certain sources, for example, emit more high energy photons, others not. And uh, so we will be able to do real uh, astrophysics and astronomy uh, with neutrinos. Simon Fraser University assistant professor Matthias Denninger did his PhD on Ice Cube, and he's now involved in an effort to put something similar off the coast of Vancouver Island. The Pacific Ocean Neutrino Experiment, or P1, would obviously be underwater instead of ice. It would also be part of a much larger ocean observatory involving an 800 kilometer loop of fiber optic cables. The vision is that we would build at the moment the, the world's largest neutrino telescope with a much newer technology than Ice Cube is, because Ice Cube um, was perceived around 20 years ago now. The science is out there. Uh, so Ice Cube is, is just skimming on discoveries. So if you could build something that has improved capabilities, which is a little bit larger, you will tap into all this potential which is out there in the universe. It is certainly an ambitious project, but physicists from all over the world have already signed on, and initial funding from the Canadian government has already been secured. If everything goes perfectly to plan, P1 could start collecting data before the decade is out. With This Week in Science, Curtis Doring, City News.